The other book that I read uh, is The Self-Help Myth, How Philanthropy Fails to Alleviate Poverty. And the author, uh, Erica Colarenas, uh, makes lots of really good points. One of the points that she makes is that within organized philanthropy over the last couple of years, there has been a, a, a pretty strong focus on civic engagement. Uh, you know, the need for there to be more dialogue and community conversation, especially because of some of the threats to democracy uh, that, that, you know, that we're, we're experiencing. Um, the point that she makes though, uh, and I think, again, this is another way of seeing the chilling effect that organized philanthropy has on systems change work. The question that she poses, uh, and it's a really powerful uh, part of, the, of, of her book, is what exactly is the purpose of philanthropy? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is the purpose of civic engagement? Is it to make people feeling like their voices are being heard? Um, I, because I, I think a lot of times uh, civic engagement, uh, community conversations and discussions, it ends at the end of the meeting. Uh, that there isn't a next step. There isn't an action component. It's like talking about the issues, and that's certainly important, uh, but there isn't an action component. There isn't an opportunity uh, for whoever is organizing these civic engagement conversations to, to suggest, okay, now that we've talked about the issue, let's talk about some of the ways that we can address the issue, that we can solve the problem. Uh, so again, I, I think that that was just a really important takeaway for me from the self-help myth, how philanthropy fails to alleviate poverty.